morning students students welcome to this lecture of gk today we are going to do lesson number 45 what's the good word here children in this lesson we will be dealing with some exercises fun exercises with words now the a portion section of this lesson is answer these find the five letter word that contains three consonants and two vowels now you have to think of a word which has got five letters five words three are consonants and two are vowels all of you know children vowels are a e i o u three of the letters are the same in this word three letters are same but the two vowels are different the vowels will be different in this word but the consonants will be same here the answer is error you can check there are five letters three are consonants three are these are consonants and there are two vowels e and o so the word is error next one find the six letter word using the letters e l t y now using these four letters e l t y the six letter word which we get is i let there are six letters i e y e and l e t let there are six letters next one third one find the six letter word using the letters s h a r now the word which we find using these four letters are harass h a r a s s harass harass matlab kisi ko tang karna next fourth one what four letter word can be placed in front of these five words to form new words or phrases now some words are written you have to add a four letter word in front of that word so that they make sense the words are way land light school hills now if you add the word high all the words make sense highway highland highlight high school high hills so the, the four letter word is high now the fifth one complete the three letter words in such a way that the last letters of each together gives us the name of a word now children you have to complete these three letter words and then the last letters if you combine them together you will get the name of a word now e l f l next word is all a w l third one is c s e a we have added a gem g e m last one we have added skin s k i n no ski is the word not skin next one skiing in winter olympics you must be knowing it's a word that is called skiing next one is pin p i n peg and dew the name of the bird which we get is flamingo f l a m i n g o this makes the word flamingo now the sixth one this is a five letter word of which if you remove four of the letters it is still pronounced the same do you know the word now 
This word is Q. If you remove this, then you will read it Q. Q means a line, a row. Now children, we will be doing exercise number, exercise B. Now children, in B exercise, we have to unscramble the letters to get a single word. The first one, mind drums. Now the hint for the answer they have given is, third week in June. Third week in June is called Midsummer. From these letters, M-I-M-E-D-R-U-M-S, you can make this word Midsummer. Next one is replace it, replay its sun. Now they have get, given these letters, we have to unscramble it and make a word which means your qualities. And the answer we get is personality. Replay its sun. Out of these letters, we find out a single word, it is personality. Third one is it's dance. The hint given is from here to there. Yaha se That is called distance. It's dance word se hume kya word mil sakta hai? Jiska matlab here to there ho distance. Now the fourth one. Monster date. And the hint is show. From monster date we have to find out a word which means show and the word which we get is demonstrate. Demonstrate means to show, to present, the khana bojis. Climate fear. Now the hint given is substitute. From these letters climate fear we can make a single word which is replacement. Replacement means Substitute. Now, children, we move on to section C. Guess the word. My first is in fire, but not in great. Matlab, mera jo pehla letter hai, wo fire mein hai, lekin great mein nahi. My second is in early, but not in late. Second letter is in the word early. Early mein hai, wo letter, lekin late word mein wo letter nahi. My third is in music and also in tune. A third letter jo bane ka wo mere, mere, mere wale word ka wo word music mein bhi hai, tune mein bhi hai. My fourth is in distinct but not in soon. Fourth letter mera, mere word ka wo distinct mein hai but soon mein nahi hai. My last is in frost. And also in sleet. Mera jo last letter hai, wo frost mein bhi hai, or sleet mein bhi hai. When ripe, I am juicy and sweet. I am a dash. I am a fruit. Agar tum fire, early, music, distinct, frost. In words ko dekho, to tumhe is mein F, R, U, I, T. Ye letters mele. So your answer is fruit. Next one, my fast is in act but not in play. My second is in April but not in May. My fast is my first. First is in act but not in play. Act mein hai, play mein hai. First letter jo hai, wo act word mein hai. Or play mein hai. Second is in April. April mein hai but not in May. My third is in noble and also in lord. मेरे वर्ड का थर्ड लेटर जो है वो नोबल में है और लॉर्ड में भी है। फोर्थ वन, माय फोर्थ इज़ इन कार्ड, बट नॉट इन बोर्ड। कार्ड में है, बोर्ड में नहीं है मेरा फोर्थ लेटर। माय लास्ट इज़ इन स्टैक, बट नॉट इन हे। मेरा लास्ट लेटर जो है वो स्टैक में है, हे में नहीं है। यू लुक एट माय फ चेहरे को रोज देखते हो। What am I? I am a clock. अब act में 
देखो C है अप्रैल में L है नोबल में O है कार्ड में C है और स्टेप में K है फ्रॉम दीज वर्ड्स वी गेट द आंसर क्लॉक थर्ड वन माई फर्स्ट इज इन मोक बट नॉट इन फेक My second is in boil, but not in bake. My third is in rock, and also in roll. My fourth is in window, but not in hole. My last is in basin, but not in bath. I love to do tricks and make children laugh. Who am I? I am a clown. मॉक वर्ड में सी मिल जाएगा बॉयल में एल रॉक में ओ रोल में भी ओ है विंडो में डब्ल्यू एंड बेसन में एन एंड द वर्ड विच वी गेट इज क्लोन नाउ एट द फुट रॉक दैट वॉज फन ट्राई मेकिंग वन विथ योर नेम नाउ Derek O'Brien wants you to make such words with your name like this my first is in dance but not in fun the verb dance me d hai my second is in bread but not in bun break na me d r My third is in rice and also in rag. My fourth is in clever but not in sly. My last is in Kolkata but not in Bengal. To know my name, give me a call. And the answer is Derek. D E R E K. अब dance का D dance में डांस D दिख रहा है. Bread में तुम्हें E दिख रहा है. B R E A D. राइस में तुम्हें आर दिख रहा है क्लेवर में तुम्हें ई दिख रहा है और कोलकाता में तुम्हें के दिख रहा है फ्रॉम दिस ही हैज डिराइव्ड हिज ओन नेम एंड ही वांट्स यू टू मेक फन विद वर्ड्स एंड ट्राई मेकिंग योर नेम लाइक दिस लाइक दिस पजल ही हैज गिवन इट इज फन विद वर्ड्स नाउ चिल्ड्रन वी मूव ऑन टू लेसन नंबर फोर्टी medicinal plants yes children in this lesson medicinal plants all of you know there are many plants in fact most of the plants and vegetables which we eat they have got some vitamins some food value and they are also used एज मेडिसिन तुमने देखा होगा घर में खांसी हो जाती है तो हम तुलसी काली मिर्च ये सब चीज़ें शहद ये सब चीज़ें हमें दी जाती हैं या हम खाते हैं वो हमें हमारे लिए उस समय बेनिफिशियल होती है इसी तरह से ऐसे कोटीडा हिंग ये सब चीज़ें अगर पेट में दर्द हो या गैस बन रही हो तो ऐसी चीज़ें खाई जाती हैं तो हमें शुरू से ये पता है कि जो हम खाते हैं उसमें कुछ ना कुछ मेडिसिनल प्रॉपर्टीज होती हैं उनमें कुछ ना कुछ गुण होते हैं जो हमें हमारे शरीर को स्वस्थ रखने के लिए ज़रूरी होते हैं तो इस लेसन में हम कुछ इसी तरह के चीज़ों के बारे में पढ़ेंगे टेक द करेक्ट आंसर्स विच प्लांट विथ हाई मेडिसिनल वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो नोन एज इंडियन gooseberry or nelly now out of the options given the correct one is amla so indian gooseberry ya nelly kehte hain which plant also known as sweet basil or french basil has germicidal fungicidal and antibacterial properties now the options given are pudina henna lemon and tulsi the correct answer is tulsi third one the extract of which herb is 
is used as a flavoring agent in maple syrup. Now, अब ये maple syrup तो syrup क्या है? Maple होता है चिनार के पेड़ चिनार के पेड़ को maple कहते हैं and uh, syrup is the thick sweet liquid produced from the maple tree जो उसका juice निकलता है उसको सिरप कहते हैं तुमने तुम्हें वैसे भी सिरप का मतलब तुमने देखा होगा कफ सिरप वगैरह हम कहते हैं जो कि लिक्विड कफ सिरप्स होते हैं मेडिसिन होते हैं तो जो चिनार पेड़ का जो लिक्विड है वो मैपल सिरप कहा गया उसको नाउ द एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑफ विच हर्ब इज यूज एज अ फ्लेवरिंग एजेंट नाउ द आंसर इज फेनुब्रिक फेनुब्रिक कहते हैं मेथी को आजकल मेथी आ भी रही है मेथी को फेनुब्रिक कहते हैं नेक्स्ट वन फोर्थ वन द नेम ऑफ विच पेनियल हर्ब कम्स फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड्स फॉर माउंटेन एंड जॉय नाउ द ऑप्शन गिवन आर स्वीट फ्लैग सैफरन और इगेनो पेपर नाउ द आंसर इज ऑरिगेन Oregano is a kind of herb. Next one, the seeds of which of these plants are used to cure rickets, gout, and diabetes. Children, rickets is a kind of disease in which the bones of children they become weak and soft due to lack of vitamin D. And Gout is a form of arthritis in which there is severe pain in joints. And diabetes, diabetes also is also a kind of disease in which there is too much of sugar in the blood. Now to cure rickets, gout and diabetes, the seeds of rosemary plant is Used. Rosemary जो है ये एक तरह की जड़ी बूटी है Next one, sixth one, popularly known as Gendha, the extract of which plant is good for sunburn, acne and blemishes. Sunburn का मतलब तुम समझते ही हो धूप में अगर बहुत रोज रोज चार चार घंटे तुम खेलो तो देखना तुम्हारे skin के color में change आ जाएगा That is because of sunburn. Acne is a is a skin condition, and blemishes, any type of spot, mark, or discoloring that occurs or appears on the skin, that is called blemishes. Now the extract of marigold plant is good for sunburn, acne, and blemishes. गेंदे के फूल को हम मैरीगोल्ड कहते हैं तो आंसर इज मैरीगोल्ड सेवेंथ वन इन एशियन ग्रीक टेम्पल्स विच पंजेंट हर्ब वॉज यूज एज एन इन सेंस इन ग्रीक टेम्पल्स इन एशियन ग्रीक टेम्पल्स द पंजेंट पंजेंट वर्ड का मतलब होता है जिसकी स्मेल बहुत ज्यादा तीव्र हो जो एकदम से पता चले अगर उस चीज को यूज किया कहीं पे तो एकदम से पता चले पंजन स्मेल केमिस्ट्री लैब में आप जब डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ गैसेस वगैरह एक्सपेरिमेंट्स में बनते हैं तो पंजन स्मेल आता रहता है तो दैट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग स्मेल इज कॉल्ड पंजन स्मेल अब ये हर्ब जो है ये पंजन है इसको एज एन इन सेंस मतलब अगरबत्ती की तरह एंशंट टाइम में ग्रीक टेम्पल्स में जलाया जाता था And the name of this pungent herb is thyme. It is a herb of mint family. It is spelled as thyme. It is silent t y n e thyme. Which bushy aromatic herb is also called estrogon? Now the name of this herb is tarragon. It is a herb of sunflower family. 
Now children we come to the footnote. The study or practice of the medicinal and therapeutic use of plants is known as herbalism. Children, you have to learn this footnote. What is herbalism? Now children, you will do both these exercises and send your work to me. Thank you children.